New developments tonight on the two missing moms in Oklahoma. The grandmother of one of the victim's children arrested along with three others. Investigators expected to confirm that two bodies recovered over the weekend are 27-year-old Veronica Butler and 39-year-old Jillian Kelly. This is uh, what the authorities said in a press conference today. This case was tragic. You have two people um, who, are, who are dead um, and four people that committed an, an, an absolutely brutal crime. Investigators believe the two women were victims of a targeted hit. Once we arrived on scene that, and, and we gained a little bit of information that we, we felt this wasn't a random deal, all right? We, uh, we felt that with some of the information coming in that it was, it was more targeted and we started, started to look in those, those areas that we were pointed to. News Nation reported over the weekend multiple puddles of blood were found around their abandoned vehicle. It's believed to come from the victims after they might have been shot. Four suspects arrested in a raid over the weekend, 50-year-old Cole Earl Twombly, 44-year-old Cora Twombly, 43-year-old Tad Burt Cullum, 54-year-old Tiffany Adams. Police say they are all facing two counts of first-degree murder, counts of kidnapping, conspiracy to commit murder. Tiffany Adams is the grandmother of one of the victims, Veronica Butler's children. She'd been in a ugly custody battle with Veronica along with her son and father of the kid since 2019. Police say the four hatched a plot to kill Veronica. So the son, Rickman, the father, would get sole custody of the kids. The other victim had been appointed to supervise Veronica's weekly visitations and was driving with her um, as Veronica went to pick up the kids and head to a birthday party. So wrong place at the wrong time. Probable cause affidavits also show that just 10 days before the women went missing, Veronica had filed a petition in court for more visitation with her children who seeking full custody. Court documents released today, the 16-year-old daughter of two of the suspects implicated all four. The teen saying she was told the group was going on a, quote, mission the morning of the two women's disappearance after they returned. She was asked to clean up the inside of a Chevy truck. She says she was told things didn't go as planned, but they would never have to worry about Veronica ever again. Court documents also show another attempt was planned by the group in February to kill Veronica. The plan was to throw an anvil at her window shield while driving to make it look like an accident. Apparently, she didn't leave the house that day. Investigation also revealed the group had recently purchased five guns and burner phones. Joining me now is Tracy Walder, former FBI special agent, News Nation national security contributor. Uh, thanks for coming on, Tracy. Appreciate it. All right, so why do you think the authorities are not just coming out and saying we've recovered the bodies? Well, thank you so much for having me, Dan. It, it, really, they are. I mean, they're, they're basically saying that they do believe um, that you know, these women are no longer with us. Um, they were asked that that question point blank. Now, I think full identification is going to take a while. It's my understanding that also at the scene, a broken hammer was found. Um, that leads me to believe you have bodies that are out in the elements who, in my opinion, may have also been beaten as well. And so they are probably waiting on dental records, which do take some time. And the 16-year-old is the daughter of two of the suspects. I mean, if this is true, it sounds like these parents were putting their 16-year-old sort of in the middle of all of this. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about that. The reality is, is it, quite frankly, she's one of the true heroes of this situation, and she was in a very scary situation with her parents. She knew her parents had been involved in a double murder, allegedly. And so I think for her to come out with the facts that she did and really put the pieces of this puzzle together was very, very critical. And dad was not charged. He was in, in rehab at the time of the crime, right? That's correct. I don't, and I never did believe um, that he had anything to do uh, with any of this. He is in a supervised rehabilitation facility, and he's not getting out until September. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.